Hey first grade, thanks for joining me again for writing today. I am super excited because it is such a fun day. Today, you get to research. So what I'm gonna need you to do first is find your writing packet that we've been working in. The orange writing packet. You're gonna to need to open up to your research plan. This research plan helps me know what I'm doing next and how I'm going to do it. So we always want to look back at our research plan. All right, I'll give you just a second to get there. All right, so today we are doing the research part of our project. And when we research, we are looking for information to help us answer questions. The three ways we are going to research is either books and magazines, computers and iPads, or interviews. There are other ways you can research that are not listed, and that would fall in the other category right here. For example, another way you can research is by an observation. A student in my class is researching an animal that lives outside of his house right now, and he said he's going to watch and take notes. That is when you observe something and it is a form of research. So he found another way to research. You might have another way to research as well. But for today, I'm going to show you how I'm researching. I circled that I'm going to research using computer or iPad. My question again says, why do people get allergies? Well, I don't have any books and magazines, and again, I don't know someone who's a doctor that I can call an interview, so I am going to be doing research on the computer. When we research, we look for this information, and we write down facts. We did something very similar to this during our informational unit, and so I hope we kind of remember what it means when we write down a fact. A fact is something that we know is true. So for example, say allergies aren't fun. Well, that's my opinion. That's how I feel about it. So that is something I'd be able to write down. But when we research, we research for facts that we can write and share. So I'm going to turn my packet now to 10 facts about my topic. On this first, and second page, I'm going to be able to write, sorry, I'm going to be able to write down 10 facts about allergies, how people get them, why people get them, any information that's going to help me answer my question. Now remember, not every question might be able to, oops, sorry, I'm struggling with my words. Not every question might be answered. Some questions might not have enough information yet, and that's okay. The most important thing is that you find out more about your topic and question if you cannot answer it. So on here, we will be writing down our facts. The goal is to get 10 facts, but I understand sometimes that might not always be possible. So as long as you get five to 10 facts, that is okay. But the goal, that means that's what I really want us to try and work for is all 10 facts. All right, I know I'm throwing a lot of information at you. Now I'm gonna show you how I research. So I'm gonna be going on Epic to do my research. Because like I said, I don't have any information here in my house with me. So I'm going to be going to the Epic page. This link is in the PowerPoint and in your packet. I'm going to show you on my computer. Turn this just a little bit. Okay, so right now I'm on the Epic home page. I'm going to go to log in up in the right hand corner and click brought me to this page. It said parents, student, and educator. Well, right now I'm pretending to be a student. So I'm going to the student link. Now over here on the left, it says student login. 
I have to enter my class code. So you can see that, there we go. I have to enter my class code. Again, these class codes are both in the packet and on the PowerPoint. For 1C, my class code is KCM8827. So I'm gonna click go once I enter that code. Now, all the names in my class are being brought up. It's important that you click on your name and you make sure it's your name. So I am going to find guest student because that's who I am today. I'm a guest student and I'm going to click on that. All right. Oop, it just came up with a notification. Do you see this big box in the middle? It says, Maggie Clarkson sent you a book all about allergies. So if you're in my class, I've sent you some books to help you get started. So you can go to check it out and it'll take you to the page. But let's pretend that didn't come up or you might have accidentally X'd it out. How can you get there? Well, if you go up to the right hand corner, you'll see something that looks just like a mailbox. And you see a little red dot that says one next to it. Right there. You're gonna go and click mailbox. And then in your mailbox, you will see books that I have sent to you. So here's a book called All About Allergies. I'm gonna click on this book and start reading to see what information I can find out. You ready to read with me? Okay. All about allergies. Your body. You're amazing. So is your body. Most of the time, your body works just fine. It lets you go to school, play with friends and more, but sometimes you feel sick or part of you hurts. Hmm. Allergies can make you uncomfortable or sick. Millions of kids have them but they find ways to treat their allergies, then they feel better. Down here it says allergen, something that causes an allergic reaction. There's lots of information in this page so far. I'm gonna keep reading. Here we go. All about allergies. Have you ever had an allergic reaction? This is your body's response to an allergen. It thinks the allergen is harmful. It releases histamines. These help get rid of the allergen. Wow, a lot of information in there too. So I'm gonna stop right now because I think I should start writing down some of this information. So the first fact I saw in here was what an allergen is. If you have a hard time pronouncing words on Epic, remember, you can scroll over the word and click on it. So for example, let's say I couldn't pronounce this word. I'd click on it. Why oh, it's just not working. Allergies. So you can pronounce it. Allergy. And then read what it is if you need help. So I am going to write down what an allergy is in my 10 facts. Number one, an allergen is something that causes an allergic reaction, period. Now remember, we're still doing cops. We are still using our cops or cups, capital letters in the beginning. I do not have capital words in the middle organized with spaces and my words are on the line. I have punctuation at the end and spelling. 
especially spelling because I am looking in a book and taking the information from the book and writing it down. So I can always look here if I need help with my spelling. Well, now I already have one fact down. I'm gonna keep reading to figure out what other facts I can get from this book. Maybe this book only will give me one fact that is helpful. Does that mean I'm only gonna stop at one book and one fact and that's it? No way. We can go look for more books. We can go look for other ways to find information. You can use more than one book or one resource during this time. Remember, our goal is to get 10 facts. It is a goal, so sometimes we cannot always reach that goal, which is okay, but I want everyone to try their hardest. On Friday, we're gonna keep researching. This might take you two days, and that's okay. It might even take you a little longer. Remember, you're the teacher, so you're in charge of making sure you get these things done. So for today, I just want you to really focus on finding some facts, maybe five, maybe all 10. I'm gonna post another video on Friday just to help us keep going with our research and what to do next, okay? Super proud of you, super excited to see everything you guys are learning about, and you are all rock star teachers and students at this time. So keep up the hard work. All right, bye for now.